Welcome to this edition in a series of instructional videos from Mohawk Finishing Products. Our goal is to help you apply beautiful wood finishes and to perform excellent repairs on damages such as dents and scratches. Thanks for watching and here's our video. There are several problems associated with wood finishing and wood finishes repair. The problems that are usually associated with finishing or refinishing rather than repair are covered in the problem session on the Mohawk Finishing DVD. This session covers problems that a person might encounter while doing repairs. In every case, it is best to avoid the problem rather than depending on a magic fix after the fact. We'll list several here along with strategies to avoid the problems and, where possible, offer a solution. Blushing. When the humidity is high during the application of lacquer, a white haze can appear as the lacquer dries. This haze is called blushing. It is the result of the moisture in the atmosphere getting trapped under the top surface of the lacquer during the drying process. It is most common on very humid days. In order to remove the blushing, the lacquer must be reliquified so the water can evaporate out of the lacquer. Blush retarder aerosols contain slow solvents that can be used to dissolve nitrocellulose lacquers. The slow solvents are effective at keeping the lacquer in a liquefied state long enough for the water to evaporate, thus eliminating the cloudy effects of blushing. Always spray blush retarder with light coats to avoid overly long dry times. More can be added if needed. Notice that the finish is now clear. It is important to note that blush retarder only works on nitrocellulose finishes. Checking. Checking is a cracking in the finish caused by one of two reasons. Applying a finish that is too thick when it dries, around four dry mills is safe. Over time, the plasticizer has evaporated from an old finish, so the finish can no longer expand and contract with the wood. Cracks result from the movement of the wood. Checking can be prevented on new work by not applying more than a total of four dry mills. Plasticizer loss on old finishes is more complicated. Simply reflowing the surface is not enough because the lack of plasticizer will cause the finish to check again in a relatively short period of time. The finish must be reflowed and replasticized. Since the checks are often below the surface of the finish, we must use a penetrating padding agent known as Amalgamator. This product will be absorbed by the damaged finish and draw together the checked or crazed marks. Once the separations have been reflowed, they will remain healed due to the plasticizing agent in Amalgamator. This product is effective on conventional type finishes. Catalyzed finishes have a resistance to solvents, thus Amalgamator is not effective on catalyzed finishes. Clean the area using Amalgamator solvent and a clean cloth. Make a pad with a clean absorbent cloth by folding it into a tight ball that fits comfortably into the palm of your hand. The surface must be very smooth. Pour Amalgamator into the pad and disperse the liquid throughout the pad. Apply Amalgamator by padding in a circular motion in an 8 inch area. Make another pad. Pour a padding finish into the pad and force the liquid in deeply with your palm. French pad the surface. Fish eyes caused by silicone contamination. Silicone contamination is one of the most common problems associated with wood touch-up and refinishing. Silicone is used in polishes to add slipperiness and shine to the finish. It does a great job at making the finish look good, and many people choose to use a silicone polish knowing the problem it could cause. The problem silicone causes is a phenomenon known as fish eyes. Fish eyes are voids or pits in the finish. Interestingly, the way to avoid fish eyes is to put silicone into the lacquer before spraying it on. If you suspect silicone contamination, first use a wax wash to clean the surface and then spray any aerosols you may use in an inconspicuous place to look for fish eyes as the lacquer dries. Good professional lacquer aerosols will have a silicone agent included in the formula, so you may not have a problem even if silicone is present. If you didn't suspect silicone contamination and the lacquer does get fish eyes, wait until it dries and sand it as evenly as possible without going through any color. If you have shellac available, use it as a barrier coat before spraying more lacquer. If not, spray very light coats, fog coats of lacquer, 
as explained earlier and then sand it smooth and use whatever type of rubbing technique is appropriate to match the sheen of the original finish. For more information or to purchase the products you've seen on this video, please go to www.mohawk-finishing.com or call us at 800-545-0047. We are the leading manufacturer and distributor of professional touch-up repair and finishing products for wood and leather. You can see and purchase all of our products on our website and you can find your closest distributor. Thanks again for watching.